good. This will be my third attempt to try to make this video. All I really want to do is build this dang wood kit that I got from Amazon. Um, that's what it looks like when it's completed. It will hold all of our drills and stuff and do all that kind of thing. But um, there's no instructions with it. So I'm assuming that this is the instructions. So it's a nice kit. Um, it comes with all this stuff that you see here. Um, basically, here's the thing, and it will hold the drill like so. And that way I don't have to deal with them, and they'll be nice and clean and neat, and make it look good. So, hopefully you guys can see everything. I don't know if you can, if you can't, it's so damn hard to tell. I'm assuming that that's the angle. Hopefully you can't see my damn feet. I hate that shit. People see my feet. Okay, so let's see here. What's the first one? The first one is this thing. And I'm basing this solely off of pictures. Looks like that is in the middle. And then this piece goes here. Okay. So we are going to need a bit. Let's see here. These are special funky kind of screws. They're like for an Allen head or something. So we'll have to... Oh, look at that. First match. Come on. Get out. Get out. Get out. There we go. Hopefully this is a good match. And it is. Alrighty. That'll work for me. Put that... Like that, here we go, come on. Okay, got that ready. Okay, so, all right, so this piece goes like this, and this piece goes like that, right? Yes, that is correct. So it's like that, and they're already kind of like pre-put in there. So really it's just lining it up. Let's see here if I can find. There we go. Alright. That was pretty easy. <laughs> I laugh. I kid, I kid. Alright, so let's see here. Let's do it this way. I think laying it down. Let's see here. All right, so we got this part laid. Let's put a couple more in it. There we go. Got it. I had to like jerk it in there at a weird angle. All right, so this one is gonna give me some problems. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put a little hole in it. Okay. And then I'm gonna run. See, I was prepared for this. That's why I got all this crap out. I knew something like this was going to happen. And then I'm going to put the screw through it. Put a wood screw through it. I'm going to go with the traditional wood screw. Thoughts on this is that the instructions, they suck. I mean, this is what I'm forced to go off of, is this. There was nothing in the box. The screws came loose in the box. So they were just rattling around everywhere, scratching the shit out of the wood, which, you know, I really appreciate that. Thank you for sending me a kit that scratched to hell and back because you guys didn't put the damn screws in a bag. So, 
You know, those are my first two gripes about it. And two, I don't... I shouldn't have to be doing this kind of shit. Come on, go in there nice and easy. Like that. Okay. That will secure that. Alright. Moving on. Kind of put them... Like that. Alright. And... Well, other than that little hiccup, it's going together quite well. Uh, the other, the other thing I didn't like about the kit is that it came with an Allen wrench uh, that you could use to put it together in case you didn't have the thing. But I wouldn't want to put this together with an Allen wrench, even though I think you could. It would be possible. Okay, so that's step two. What is step three? Step three, step three is installing this thing, okay? And I guess that is a pass through. So, go over here and grab. Fuck, man, and they make different, different ones, different sizes in this kit? I didn't know that. How's this thing go together? Okay, so I skipped those holes. Let me go to this one. This is right. And the final step is turn it on its side here. We'll install it like this. It gave me these two extra really big screws and I wasn't sure where they went to, but now I know what they do. You use it to attach it to a wall. So this cool little kit cost about 65 bucks. Um, it's known as a electric, uh, I don't know, tool cabinet or something like that. I'll make sure to uh, leave the description or the link and stuff below for you guys. Um, when it comes to my links on the YouTube channel, unfortunately, you have to like copy and paste them. You just can't click on them. Uh, that won't take an effect until I get the channel fully verified. And I can't do that until I hit a thousand subscribers. So my subscription count goes up and then I like I lose one or two people and then it, it'll go up a little bit and then I'll lose one or two people. Which the way I look at it is, is that if you're unsubscribing from a channel, then I didn't, you weren't a real, you weren't needed anyway. You weren't a value to us. Uh, the subscribers that are subscribed to my channel, I usually talk to most of them. Um, and there's about 10 guys that I communicate with all the time. And that's because they're always leaving me comments and they're always um, helping me out. They're true subscribers, true fans of my channel, um, which I really appreciate. I find that to be extremely cool. So, you know, kudos to you guys for, for this being possible because without y'all, man, this would be, this would be nothing. Um, I would just be making home videos for no reason. Um, I make these videos to try to educate people and help people out, and then I do a lot of stuff. So I thought that would be worth making a YouTube channel out of because of all the crap I do. Uh-oh. Ooh. Ooh. 
I bet one of those short ones goes there because I noticed I had, let's see here. I thought, I, I thought they had this kid included a couple shorties like that. See that, that's a lot shorter. So I bet that's the one that goes in here, but it's too late. The damage has already been done. Which is my fault. What the hell keeps falling out of this drill? It's like stuff keeps coming out of it. All right. Okay, moving on. I appreciate it. I really do. The fact that I even have any subscribers is amazing. Um, but I'm always up to something. I'm always doing things. And I thought that would be pretty cool to make videos about and show other people. Because somebody told me one day, you know, dude, you're always up to something. You're always building something. You're always making something. You know, you should film it and put it on YouTube. Thus, ATEC PCs was born. Plus, I had a friend of mine that wanted to start a YouTube channel. Um, I don't... He was more serious about it than I was, but I ended up actually... I managed to actually jump while he didn't. Um, and I don't know if he's even into it or doing it or what and that was easy all right now it is complete it is 100% done Yes, it is done, completed. That was actually not too bad of a, of a, of a kit. The instructions kind of suck, and I had a little slight hiccup in it when I did initially put it together. Um, but now we just need to mount it. Voila, the final result. I got all of my drills nice and easy. I, um, I don't keep the batteries plugged in. It's good practice not to leave batteries in electronic devices um, usually what will happen over a period of time is that they'll corrode and that's where you get that green crusty stuff and then it destroys it and you might as well throw it away um, but I didn't know what to do with my electric screwdriver so I just placed it like that and there it is and if I need a tool I just pull it grab the battery from up top and off we go and then on top we have the battery charger um, and the rest of them and stuff that I still have to kind of play with. This, I haven't decided where to put this at. This is my other handheld electric one. Yeah, it still works. Um, I've had it for like 15 years. But, there you have it. Um, you know, I hope you guys liked it. Leave me a like. Subscribe. Um, I still haven't figured out what to do with the drill bit holder yet. I just put stuff in it, I guess. And I also have a magnetic strip above it. Uh, I figured I'll show you guys a couple of things. So you guys already know about the Wi-Fi cameras that we got in. We're going to get those hooked up here real soon. And then this is all of our Wi-Fi kit that I had to take it off the table and stuff. So I just basically set it all here. Um, but this is going to be really cool. It's going to have LED lights in it. It's going to have like two stages. It's going to look awesome. I'm going to carbon fiber it and everything once I'm done with it. Uh, if you guys haven't seen that video yet about the wireless charger, check that out on my channel. It's in there too. Um, it was actually like two three videos ago I made that one and then this is my new fire cabinet basically um, you know it well that blue stuff comes off and it hangs up against the wall I want it to look really nice and professional so you'll have it like that which is really cool and then on top of that look at this it comes with a hammer a little hammer so you can break the plexiglass out so we have to install that. Um, I'm still waiting for our new fire extinguisher to come. And then I got a metal sign. So that way it will kind of hang out above it and point down. 
Um, let's see here. What else did we get? Over here, this is our new uh, glove. It's made out of plastic acrylic, but this is going to hold my gloves. It holds two boxes of gloves, and then you can just pull out of them. Um, all of this stuff is going to go on that back wall there. We're going to um, get a sheet of plywood, nice plywood, and then plywood it in. And then we'll paint it, and then we will attach the fire extinguisher cabinet, and then the sign. Um, and then the gloves dispenser will be sitting next to it. So once I get this place organized and cleaned up, it's going to look so professional. Um, I cannot wait on how well it was going to look. And then, and then also today, since we are upgrading everything, I went and got a brand new modem and a brand new router. Because, well, you got to have that. After a while, guys, your stuff will degradate after a few years and stuff. So I went ahead and got this switched out today for a brand new one. And I thought that, well, that's cool because I need a new cable and stuff. So I went ahead and hooked up the new modem and router and got that taken care of. I'm going to take these out because I could use these. But, yeah, so that completely completes today's goal and mission let's see here i can just put this stuff here oh check this thing out y'all look what i bought see what i bought it only cost me 500 dollars, but i bought a shed that's what all this wood on the floor is for that's to build the foundation with the for the shed um that's pressure treated wood that was about 160 dollars in pressure treated wood um but yeah these are all the nuts and bolts. Look at all that shit. You better hope your screwdriver is nice and charged. Look at all them nuts. It's insane. This is where it's going to go. You can see I've already kind of surveyed and leveled. I'm starting to level it off. I just cleared it off. I kind of have some markers around it to know where it is. It's 10 feet by 12 feet and we have to remove some of that metal fencing and then I have to cleave the ground and then we're going to make it real smooth and stuff. So yeah, that's another project that's coming up. So, but all right guys, thank y'all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it. Please subscribe to the channel and as always, you guys be cool and I'll see y'all in the next one.